No, man, I really appreciate that. But I think it, like you said, it, it really comes down to an environment and manifesting something. So, um, you know, I don't, I, I've been one that if I'm going to do something, I want to be the best at it or, yeah. or damn near close to it. And, uh, I've seen that the best bodybuilders in the world do those exact things. You know, they live in a box, mm -hmm. they write everything down. Yeah. Uh, they're very perfect at everything that they do, you know, and I've been studying that since I was 10, yeah. 12 years old, watching YouTube videos. So I know, or, or at least I've seen somewhat a glimpse of what it takes. And I'm trying to take all those things and make sure that I'm at least one of those guys that everybody talks about eventually. So, yeah. Thing is, if you want to get, if you want to not just play it something and do it as like a hobby and do it seriously and you've relocated and you want to give yourself the best chance of success, you have to be all or nothing. You have to go, all, like Dorian, like even from the start, he kept logs and like he says, no, I've, I've, I pretty much set out what I wanted to do. Not like Ronnie Coleman, who just kind of just took a free gym membership and one yeah. day woke up and he was Mr. Olympia. <laughs> you know, like, yeah. some, I, I, you know, if you really want to give yourself the best chance of success at any point, you've got to go all in. Absolutely 100%. I agree, 1,000%. And, and also my background... Um, you know, I come from two parents that have struggled with addiction and stuff like that. So I kind of have that addictive behavior and I've just been able to use it and channel it in a good direction. Wow. Um, you know, so I've been able to take that and maybe say, you know, like bodybuilding is my addiction and, and the focus and the drive and the motivation yeah. to get better is my addiction versus the other way around, because I've seen how that's gone. And, and that's not good, you know, good direction. So um, I kind of knew that early on and I always kind of stayed away from like the partying and all that kind of stuff just because I, I didn't want to fall into that type of behavior. I think if you've got a front row seat of something that you know is you can see is not going to go well for their, for you or for other people, then it's it, to, the fact that you've actually channeled that into something, you recognize that and you've channeled it into something positive for you. I, I think that's a real, that's a real sort of testament to your character, mate. That, hey, that means a lot, man. I, uh, like I said, I, I kind of, I took all the bad, I guess, and, and tried to shine light on it and make yeah. it good. You know? And my parents, I will say, even though they've had their struggles or whatever, they're the most supportive um, they love my bodybuilding, you know, they're my biggest fans and, and all that stuff. So even though they had their bads, it really just was a learning point for me. And uh, I'll take it and run with it because it seemed mm. to make me a pretty damn good bodybuilder, honestly. <laughs> yeah, we, you're off to a fantastic start, mate. So, um, I mean, like I, I did a little review and a hot news and I, I was looking at your physique and I said, yeah, I said, he's like a diamond. He's got a beautiful shape. I said, he's a diamond in the rough. I said, he just needs to, if he can get fourth in a contest this tough, you know, with condition that's kind of not quite there. I mean, that's that's a that's actually really good and kind of probably motivating for you for the next and the next show. 